I keep hearing about all these delicious apps for Android phones. How big is this problem? Is this a real problem? I think I can better show you. Uh, we just got to Google and we search for this. So here, uh, I just wrote on uh, Google and Android apps in Google. And what you see is that we have millions of hits. So the conclusion is that there is actually a big business behind this. There are more than 500 app stores from an alternative to Google Play offering supposed free applications. But as we all know, the free is very subjective. You know? so, exactly. And if you can't see that in the video, it's 107 million hits that came. <laughs> so the consequence is that when you download from one of these app stores, even if it looks like a legitimate application, even a famous application, it's quite likely that it will be infected with a Trojan. Okay. And the problem is that this Trojan can actually take control of your phone and do whatever the cyber criminals that own them uh, instruct them to do. So I'll show you an example. Okay. Typically a Trojan uh, is embedded behind a legitimate application. So we have here an example where we have a game that looks like a harmless game, okay. but like the other uh, applications yeah. out there, it has a Trojan that will communicate with a criminal server uh, that we can see here a represent, uh, representation. So it's the typically called common and control server. Okay. So in this case, in this case uh, I would say uh, we use the phone normally, so I have everything on this device. I could as well just take you a picture to register the moment. Okay. <laughs> so, smile. And then I would invite you to play the game. Okay. So this looks like a game for kids. Mm -hmm. It's something that you could actually play at home. So you just need to press the play button and then just touch with your finger on the device. And then you need to avoid hitting the guys as much as you can. The bad guys. Okay, still have one more life. Do your best. Okay, you lost. You lost. So this is something that you could see yourself or your kids doing at home. Yeah, it's a normal game. It's a normal game. Well, the problem is that this is a normal game, but the Trojan behind it, while you were playing it, actually was doing bad things behind it. So, as you can see here, it has stolen uh, your email address. It's stealing your precise location every five seconds. It has stolen the full contact list, the picture that I've just taken from you, and the full uh, SMS inbox. So, what this proves is that basically a malware on your device can basically do everything in your behalf. Besides uh, stealing private information, it can as well subscribe services. So one thing that it happened as well was that it sent a premium SMS that we represented here uh, by an increase of 10 euros on the revenue from the cyber criminal. 10 euros on my phone bill. Exactly. Okay. That's Besides scary. stealing basically yeah. everything yeah. you have phone. private on your device. Yeah. So any stored information, any passwords, anything like that, it's all gone. Everything is now on the internet, yes. on a criminal server, and this can be used for all sorts of purposes. Okay. They can sell this information, they can track you in real time, yeah. so it depends if they are using it for a more generic attack or for a more targeted, targeted attack. To your person. But you can imagine the kinds of usages that can be given to know your, your information, your location uh, in real time uh, by having your pictures, uh, by having your SMSs, your contact list. Uh, especially if, you're, for example, you are uh, using this as your corporate device. So, what can someone do about that? How can this problem be solved? So the problem is that actually the users are not installing uh, mobile antivirus uh, as it's common on the PC or on the fixed world. Right. So actually the installation rate of antivirus on mobile phones is extremely low. So Nokia is proposing a solution 
that actually is offered to mobile operators so that mobile operators can, can help the subscribers uh, by detecting uh, the malware on their devices, looking into the communication between the devices and the criminal servers. So the way it works is that it looks into the traffic and then when the malwares or the Trojans communicate to, this, uh, to the criminal servers, these communication patterns are detected by a correlation engine that it uses as a base a malware intelligence database that we get from our partner security and as well some self-learned patterns, patterns that we know that are typical from virus, even if these virus are not yet known or uh, included on a malware intelligence database. Right. So indicators that it could be a bad app. Exactly. Okay. So by the end, we tell the operators which are the subscribers that are likely to be infected with malware. And then we provide a tool that allows to take automated actions to these subscribers. Okay. So actually the infected subscribers can be informed automatically by the operator and get, and get instructions. How can they solve the problem? How can they get rid of the malware? Okay. Additionally, the operator has needs to protect them on the network side. So for example, if this malware is subscribing premium services, for example, sending premium messages, it's possible that the operator for the subscriber suspends the premium services until the problem is solved. The operator can as well, for example, suspend the access to certain URLs or even to the internet and if it's detected a severe privacy breach or takes other, or other kinds of measures uh, to, by the end, uh, reduce the problem of the subscriber by being infected with malware. All of this in parallel with instructions and help from the operator so that the subscriber by the end gets rid of the infection. Okay. And is this uh, available for deployment or is this in development? This is now available for deployment. It's a brand new solution for Nokia. It has been used by pilot customers, so it's already live in some networks, but it's now available for wider deployment. And for the end users, you really need to think about where you get your apps and think about what you keep on your phone Absolutely. and use your firewalls. Absolutely. <laughs> That's a very good advice. Okay.